See, if you wake up every day and you say you're not a morning person, you're doing a serious disservice to yourself. Because your attitude determines your altitude. A lot of your mornings start off bad because you've taken claim that you're not a morning person. Why would you not be a morning person when the whole goal is to wake up every morning? You gotta be in a life-changing business. People have got to look at you like a light. Something should be in you that shows other people that there's hope. You don't know this about yourself, but you're gonna be that person one day. And you gotta start preparing for what you wanna be. At least let God know you're glad you're alive. If you don't let nobody else, you don't know it, but you're gonna be a light one day. And people are gonna look to you for that light. I believe in winning the battle against yourself. Because there's a lot of things you can control. When you wake up, I talk about making your bed. Make your bed, make sure your house is clean, make sure you get your breakfast, make sure you shower, shave, whatever you're doing, control that. Don't hit the snooze button. All these things are very important. That's been told a lot of times. Why don't you hit the snooze button? Because you wake up already daily. You're already behind the power curve. So what happens when you hit the snooze button? You may not make your bed. You may not pick the right clothes out. So that's the mindset that I think it's important to bring with you every day you go, everywhere you go in life. Time is the inexplicable raw material of everything. With it, all is possible. Without it, nothing. The supply of time is truly a daily miracle, an affair genuinely astonishing when one examines it. You wake up in the morning and lo, your purse is magically filled with 24 hours of the unmanufactured tissue of the universe of your life. It is yours. It is the most precious of possessions. No one can take it from you. It is unstealable. And no one receives either more or less than you receive. In the realm of time, there is no aristocracy of wealth and no aristocracy of intellect. Genius is never rewarded by even an extra hour a day. And there is no punishment. Waste your infinitely previous commodity as much as you will and the supply will never be withheld from you. You cannot waste tomorrow. It is kept for you. You cannot waste the next hour. It is kept for you. I have said the affair was a genuine miracle. Is it not? You have to live on this 24 hours of daily time. Out of it, you have to spend health, pleasure, money, content, respect, and the evolution of your immortal soul. Its right use, its most effective use, is a matter of the highest urgency and of the most thrilling actuality. All depends on that. Your happiness, the elusive prize that you are all clutching for, my friends, depends on that. How do you have time for anything? How do you have time to dink around on Facebook? How do you have time to watch hours and hours of TV? How do you have time to do anything? It's simply because that's where you put the priority. So don't tell yourself you don't have time. Just say it's not important, and maybe it isn't, and that's okay. But if it is, make the time to get it done. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. Complain, point at your circumstances, give up your power, blame the government. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, your life will be easy hard to make a radical change in your behavior. It's hard to take ownership. It's hard to swallow the bitter pill that wherever you find yourself, at some point in time, you made an appointment to be there. It's hard. Remember how you had a job interview for a job? We've had several of them in our lives. What did you do the night before the job, weeks before the job interview? You knew you had it. You prepared your you know, you had a bowl out for your oatmeal, your cereal, whatever you had in the morning time. Your coffee cup was out. Your clothes were laid out. You studied, you rehearsed, you were ready. You brought your best self. You were going to war with yourself because you weren't that interviewer to see your best self. You won. You got the job. After a few months in that job, you look around. Hmm, I got the job. You start to back off. The clothes aren't out. You hit the snooze button. You don't get up on time anymore. You realize that you can still have this job and not be your best self. The interview you is gone. You have your job, but the interview you is gone. So winning the battle in the morning time is just that. 
is that you wake up in the morning time and you own all this stuff. Because once you leave your house, the world then gets at you. And that's why I believe in not, not, not getting up in the morning time and checking your phone immediately. Everybody does that. They get up, the first thing they do is they grab their phone. Look at the phone. Maybe bad news on there. Mm. So how's your day start off? I don't go to the gym. You're caught up now on that phone. That's how your day starts. You lost control. So once you win that, once you win that battle in the morning time, then once you go out, now you've won. You go outside your house, you may lose your job. You may have a bad hit, but you won something. So, you, so you're going into battle having already won something. Having already won. So then if you hit the snooze button, you go out, you just defeated already. You're behind the power curve. Now you've won something. You feel better about yourself. So now you're able to take these hits along the way. Well, we all know sleep is really good for you. In fact, I cheat myself because I could probably, if I could sleep a little longer, I would, I would probably be better because all medical science tells you that how important, you know, seven, eight hours of sleep is for each person. What I want to say to you is when you wake up, wake up. Don't sleep during the day. Don't get a little bit unconscious and let life pass you. Be intentional. Go for it. Be in the moment. Be alert. Be aware. Seize the time. We don't have much of it. I guess what I'm really saying is uh, when you're awake, stay awake. Then when you sleep, it's a little bit more legal. If one cannot arrange that an income of 24 hours shall exactly cover all proper items of expenditure, one does muddle one's whole life indefinitely. We shall never have any more time. We have, and we have always had, all the time there is. It's not that difficult to get something started. And you run it for a while, and after a while it starts running you. That's part of the challenge. I told my staff one day, giving birth to a tiger is one thing, learning how to ride it is something else, right? Sometimes you start it and then it turns around and starts giving you all kinds of trouble. If you're working already 8-10 hours a day, that's about it. You just can't work much more than that. Uh, bursts at a time you can work 12, 14, 16, right? I'm sure we've all learned to do that, put in the extra time. But after a while, you pretty well have to put your life in balance or your health is in jeopardy and your heart's in jeopardy, your blood pressure's in jeopardy, a lot of things uh, if you don't stay in balance. So you don't have to put in any more hours, probably. All you have to do is just make better use of the hours. A cliche we've all heard. It's not the hours you put in, it's what you put in the hours that counts. Of course, I will get tired. I will get beat up, I'll get knocked down and drained, and I will have some bad days. But I will not stop. This isn't a part-time gig. This isn't punch the clock and go home for the day. You don't get weekends off. No. Here, there's no such thing as a weekend. This is an everyday gig. Every day is a Monday. You might not like that. Me? I love it. To me, every day is a beginning. A new day. A new week. A new shot at life. An opportunity to come out of the gate like a man possessed and attack the day without mercy. Success is not magic. Success is not built on luck. Success is not winning the success lottery. You have to find that hunger. You have to find that drive and you have to be willing to make things happen so that you can reach that next level. Most people were closer than they ever thought they were to finishing that big thing, but they never finished it because they didn't feel like finishing it. Or they were doing it and it was pain. And most people quit in the pain because the pain hurts so bad that they don't know if they want to keep going to get to go. Like you're going to wake up most days and not be pumped up. You're going to wake up most days and not feel like doing it. But when you can get to a point that you do it anyway, then there's no way you won't reach any of your goals.
my appetite increases. It gets stronger every year. I want more every year. I want to do more every year. I want to help more every year. I want to be bolder. I want to be better. I want to be stronger every single year. Every single year, your appetite should go up. You should never get settled. You should never get content. Successful people ingrain the drive into themselves. They master the mundane. They are consistent with that mastery. They understand the concept of longevity and the adjustments that need to be made. These people don't limit this to the concept of business. Their whole lives are driven by these ideas. They don't have to tell people how successful they are because it shows. They don't believe in magic. They don't believe in luck. They don't believe in lottery. They don't believe in the success fairy. They believe that they can handle the bumps in the road no matter how big or how small. They're the ones who are going to get there early, stay there late, and you'll never hear them say anything. Because when you're in the 2%, you're going to get what you want 100% of the time in all aspects of life.